video, we are going to discuss about how you can subcontract manufacturing efficiently in AutoCAD team. So first of all, what is subcontracting? Subcontracting is the fact that you as a contractor will send some raw materials to your subcontractor and the subcontractor will make the manufacturing process for you and will send you back the finished product. More and more companies are using subcontracting at the moment because there are lots of advantages. Uh, for example, the first one is the flexibility. So let's see how it works in order 13. So here we are in our main auto dashboard. Take the manufacturing module as the subcontracting is part of it. First of all, you will need to go to settings. Activate the option subcontracting and save. Once it is done, go to master data and bill of materials. Here you can see that the bill of materials are grouped by the type. So I will go in one of subcontracting type. And open it edit here you have the usual bill of material and the finished product that will be produced by the subcontractor and the components which are part of it here you can see the components associated with this finished product here I have specified that I have a subcontracting bill of material and you can specify the associated subcontractors here on my components, two of them are configured to be resupplied on order to the subcontractor. That is, when I will order in my office lamp, I will need to send him some lamp shade and some lamp base to be able to make the manufacturing process. And my finished product on his side has a buyer. So either I can use a purchase order. Uh, here I have specified the buyer. So either I can use a purchase order or we can use reordering rules to replenish the product. So that's all about the configuration of subcontracting. So once configuration is done, you will have to receive the subcontracted project in your stock. Order will decrease the number of raw materials at the subcontracting place and increase the number of finished product in your place when you will validate the reception of the product. You will have the possibility to record components which have been used in the manufacturing process. That is, you will be able to specify the lot or serial number when receiving the product so that the traceability is kept even if you don't manufacture the process yourself. So what I will do now is create a purchase order for my subcontractor and I will order my office lamp. So let's go to the purchase order. So create the purchase order. Select your subcontractor. And I am adding the product of Islam. I can save and confirm the order. So order will generate the usual receipt of the finished product. Here you can see the receipt. I told you before, for this project I also set some components as being resupplied the subcontract on order. So it generates a delivery order to deliver those components to the subcontractor. Just check down in this dock and validate the transfer. Now the subcontractor has the components and make the manufacturing process. That is I can receive the finished product in stock. So if I come back to the inventory, that is to the receipt. 
I have the receipt which has been generated from the purchase order and validate it to make the finished product in my stock. So, auto will decrease the number of components at the subcontracting location. Here you can see the decreased number of components in the subcontracting location. Also, the uh, finished product is increased. So, that is the easy way when you have not tracked components to configure the subcontract. One last important point is about the its valuation. Uh, now we are in our stock valuation. The most important part of it is that the components which are the subcontracting place are still considered as your own stock. Go to the purchase receipt and stock valuation. Now we are in our stock valuation. You can see that my inventory valuation decreases by the one uh, and increase by the quantity of the finished product. Here you can see that. That is a sum of service I paid to the subcontractor. That's all about the uh, configuration of subcontracting in manufacturing module. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.